What is up everybody? It's your boy Rob back with another trick tip and today I'm going to teach you how to do heel flips. Okay, so a lot of people either learn kick flips or heel flips. I was definitely a kick flip person. I totally mastered kick flips and my heel flips were pretty bad and it wasn't up until maybe like eight years ago that I really felt like I had a good heel flip and I started heel flipping into crooked grinds, board slides, back tails, like the whole thing. So I'm going to give you my tips that really helped me heel flip. So like always, let's get into the foot positioning first. So when you're rolling up with the heel flip, you wanna put your back foot right on the outside corner like a kick flip, and then the front foot, you wanna put it in the middle, a little bit closer to the bolts, and I like to put the ball of my foot right on the edge. So it's almost like I'm gripping the board with my toes. And another tip is I kind of like to turn my foot inward. It just gives me a little bit more extra of a flick and it just helps my heel flips poke out. So, obviously, when you do a heel flip, you pop and you just flick your foot straight forward at a slight angle, the board flips around, you land on it, everybody thinks you're cool. But like always, skateboarding isn't that simple. So I'm gonna give you the little trips, the little tip, 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 tricks and tips. I'm gonna give you my little tips, my little tips on how to make your heel flip work. So I noticed the first thing that was going wrong is my heel flips rocketed every time and they were behind me. So the heel flip was going that way and my body was going forward. So how to fix that is you wanna put more of your weight on your front foot, all right? And I don't know if you're having this problem, but I tried to center my, my balance, right? I had the same amount of weight on my back foot, the same amount of weight on my front foot. But I noticed when I put a little bit more weight on my front foot, it just kept me centered over the board and I just, I don't know, I just stayed on top of it. But the board was still rocketing. So here's another tip. When you kick flip, when you heel flip, some people tell you to flick at an angle but with the heel flip, I noticed it's a lot easier when I flick straight, just straight off the tip of the board, okay? And that helped my heel flip level out. But then another problem arose. I started to land primo, the board was flipping slower, yada, yada, yada. I was like, oh my gosh, this is really bad. And this last tip added together, gave me the secret recipe to have amazing heel flips, okay? so. In a three-step system, what you need to do is you need to put a little bit more of your weight on your front foot. You need to flick straight because naturally, even though you think, you think you're flipping straight, it's going to be at a slight angle, which is really going to level the board out because more of your heel rubs against the grip tape. And then the third tip, if you watch my nolly flip and my nolly heel flip trick tip, is you need to wait. All right? So often with kick flips, we want to pop and then immediately after, flick. But for some reason with the heel flip, I pop, I wait a split second, and then I kind of lift my foot up very lightly and flick off. And when I added those together, my heel flips were just like, blah! They're perfect every time. And then I could just heel flip into everything. So those are my tips. More weight on your front foot, flick straight off the tip of the nose and pop first, wait a second, and then flick. So it's like a pop, a lift, a flick. So pop, lift your foot up a little bit, and then flick, instead of a pop and a flick. Pop, lift, flick, more weight on the front foot, flick straight out, and then you're gonna be looking like Neen Williams. Done. If you guys want other trick tips, comment below. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, okay? Jeez, been surfing for like two weeks straight, drinking chocolate milk, donuts,